Yo, yo, yiggity, yo, Cypher here with To The Moon. Well, I'm back. Let's keep going. Pixelated. Does it make sense? Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred. Yet, there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no, there's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could cause the core change, she would be the top suspect. But if out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. You can smell that scroll Neil ran over all the way from here now. I feel like he's upstairs. We'll see though. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just, we couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. All right, downstairs we go. Downstairs we go. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. Hmm, I see, I see. Wait, isn't this... Where did you find it? In the lighthouse before we started. Now, for the last time... Shh! The last paper rabbit get River gave to John. Right, that part we can do. Hmm, I see, I see. That part we can do. I'm not sure, we'll have to check on that. Why? What are we doing? What the... What am I supposed to do? Fuck you. She didn't get to see the room. I wonder if I can get into it still. I can do here. People need to stop making noise outside. Boxes filled with color papers. Hmm. Chest is locked. 
Chest is locked. Go up the stairs. Thank you. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. I really should have should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how'd you even, even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. And so, what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said, he said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck. They tend to have his little side effect on the serious, curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended, to merely, were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of a time of administration must have been significant. Think this is? You think that's what kept us out of his earliest earlier memories? Well, it's not the machine. I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers, and once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or, so, or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Forgot my coffee. The 
drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Hmm. I wonder what happened. It smells. Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva. It smells. I know. It's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That's the last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you totally talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. He's very That's very true, actually. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he is still susceptible. I, I think he's missing some vital contextual information on this whole thing. All right, this is good. This is awesome. Now we need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. <coughs> Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over. Exactly. I've done. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. There aren't really, they aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Walk faster. I wish I could control with like W, A, S, and D. That'd be so much nicer than clicking. Huh, deja vu. I wonder if our memory's changed. Or if it's a rabbit down here. That'd be weird. This is the kind of thing this job gets me into. It's not safe just to bring a piece of German infected roadkill like this. There's a valve there's a valve container in the car. At least it makes it auto controllable. Where are you going? I I gotta take a leak. What a mess. The crash took everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. I feel like there's something here I'm missing. There we go. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah, do that. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry. Go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What the potato is he up to? I like those phrases. I have no time to check on him now. Hmm. 
So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds, certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck is the last thing we need. They shine their lights on the other lighthouses and at me. And this is where I'm going to end it, guys. Thank you for coming along. We'll pick up in the next episode at Act 3. I feel like this is a good point to stop. So without further ado, remember to, if you enjoyed it, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next video. And have a great night.